Hey babes, what's up and welcome back. It's your girl Midnight Moon and today we're gonna be doing some amazing unboxings. I can make your dream come true, but let me get this video never need no man to tell me what to do. So guys, today we're gonna be talking about the palettes that Baddest Takeover sent to me on Instagram from my giveaway winning and also another giveaway that was way overdue to share with you guys. I have to write her screen name in here somewhere because I don't know exactly how to say it. So if you'd like to see what I got in my boxes today, then just make sure you keep watching. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. And don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and share it with your friends. Next week I have another amazing palette to show you guys, so I said, F it, let's just put these two unboxings into one video and let you guys see what I got. It's a ton of makeup, I love it, I'm super excited to share it with you and I'm super excited to be trying out these products and trying out new brands. So guys, if you don't follow me on Instagram, please follow me there, my screen name will be in here for you. So now on to these unboxings, guys. The first one we're gonna do is the one that's been way overdue. Um, this was actually, like I said, a giveaway. It was sent to me from the UK. So you guys know this is my first UK winning giveaway. Also, real quick, guys, everything I have on will be in the description below as well, including the palette I used for my makeup look today. It actually was the Wild West palette, which you guys can check out. This is the thumbnail, this is how it looks. Go check it out. It's an amazing palette and it's vegan. Real quick guys, I'm not sure if she just used a Beauty Bay box because I know some of these products are from Beauty Bay, but this is the cute, cute, cute box. I love it, I love it, I love it. And let's get into the stuff inside of it. The first two things I wanna show you guys because if you guys don't know me, and even on my Instagram, I haven't really posted about it too much. I'm a candle lover. And she actually sent me two Wickford & Co. candles. They're little mini candles. They look like this. And they smell amazing, guys. Um, this one is the Hibiscus and White Sands, and this one's the Hawaiian Breeze. So I can't wait to use these in my house. You guys know as soon as this video is done, I'm lighting these up and putting them around. And I have to say, I love both these scents, but I think my favorite one would have to be the Hibiscus and White Sands. Um, I don't know what it is. Plain. It's just, it's good vibes right here. Okay, guys, so there is a little note in here. I forgot to actually tell you guys about. It says, hi Desiree, I hope your stuff got to you okay and you enjoy all the goodies. You're amazing and never forget it. I hope that 2021 treats you good because you deserve the best. Take care of yourself. Thank you so much for supporting me. I appreciate you very much. Love, Iga Cecilia. So sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, love. I really hope I'm not. Um, Thank you for this giveaway. This was an amazing giveaway, packed with like really nice products. Um, so let's just keep going. So the next product I'm going to be showing you guys is this Makeup Obsession Mega Honey Highlighter. Um, I'm super excited for this one too. You guys know I love a good highlight, like super, super. And let me open it up and show you guys what it looks like. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And just a quick swatch. Ooh, wow, that is beautiful. Y'all know I love a good gold highlighter, so I'm gonna be using this. Again, follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna be posting all these things in here on Instagram. Next, we have the Makeup Revolution Glass Skin Primer Ultimate Dewy Finish. Um, I'm super excited to try this one out too. Let's open it up and check it out. So it is a primer and base. Um, I have never tried the glass skin trend, but, um, I always wanted to, but my skin's never been that good, so, acne problems. Ooh, wow, look at this gorgeous bottle, guys. I mean, that is just, that's beautiful. Like, I don't even understand it. Next thing's next. 
The next thing we have is the Wet n Wild Mocha Licious Mega Last Lip Color. So this is what it looks like. And let's just do the shade real quick. Wow, I'm really obsessed with the shade. It looks almost like a, I want to say burgundy kind of brownish. Um, really cute. Love this color. Y'all know I love my lipsticks. I have a drawer full of them. So now we got another one. Now we have the Pout Bomb Plumping Lip Gloss with Vitamin E. This is by Makeup Revolution as well. It's a glaze. And I'm super excited to try this one out. Of course, it's another gorgeous bottle. I love a plumped lip, so I hope this works as good as it's supposed to. We're on to the last two products, and these are the ones that I've really been super, 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 super excited about. You guys know I love my makeup and my eyeshadows, so... She got a Living My Best Light Liquid Crystal Eyeshadow Trio. This is by Beauty Bay. I've never tried crystal... Uh, liquid crystal eyeshadow pigments. I'm gonna show you guys the colors that she sent And then these are the shades she sent me These are on the back it does say sheer pigments, so uh, I guess you just put it over like One of your regular eyeshadows or you can use it as a lighter eyeshadow So these are what they look like I really love them. We're gonna do some swatches real quick. So these are the shades, guys. From bottom to top, we have Moonstone, Rutile, and Precious Topaz. From what I can see just in the last few minutes, this does dry down. It is smudge resistant, as you guys can see. This joint is not going anywhere. Might be a little bit of glitter on my finger, but the color itself stays down. So this one I'm not going to be swatching because it's a lot of colors and it would be a longer video So I have a, another video out for you coming soon with those swatches But this is the Love Is My Drug palette by Makeup Obsessions Cecilia used this on her one of her YouTube videos when she did a makeup look for Valentine's Day And it came out beautiful, the colors are gorgeous I'm going to open it up and just show you guys real quick it's a beautiful nude palette, guys. Um, I think it has some great Valentine's Day colors, Valentine's Day looks in it, even just for some regular nude looks. This whole box was sent around Valentine's Day, so that's why it's a lot of like Valentine's Day themed stuff. Thank you again. We are officially done with that first unboxing, which was a great one. Let's get into the second unboxing. My loves, we are on to the next one. This was the packaging it came in. And there are four palettes in here. So again, I won Baddest Takeovers Giveaway. She is a cosmetics brand, a small business based in California. She decided to host a giveaway. I won that giveaway. So I won all the palettes up to her Valentine's Day palette. She did just release her Taboo Valentine's Day palette. It's a gorgeous palette. I'll have it in the screen somewhere to show you guys the colors and everything. And she's also dropping a new palette. I believe it's called Kush Babe. She is also releasing some lip kits. As far as swatches go, again, we're not gonna do that in this video because it's gonna be a little bit too long, but I will have swatch videos out for these palettes. So now that we've talked a little bit about Baddest Takeover, let's get into the palettes. The first palette I have to show you is the Mermaid Island palette. I'm really obsessed with this one because of the colors. Most of these palettes have uh, glitters in them. I think it's only like one or two that don't. And they also all come with mirrors, so that's great. But look at these colors, guys. These are absolutely gorgeous. Really pretty, mermaidy beach vibes. The second one we're going to go into is the Nude Queen, which looks like this. I believe this was one of her first palettes because as you guys can see on the front, it does say Baddest Scorpio Cosmetics, which I believe is what she was originally called first. I think it's really cute. All these palettes are really cute. I love like 
how small they are and I love the images and the uh, presentation of it. So this one is like a nude palette. A lot of nice colors, nudie colors. You can never have too many nudes. Sometimes you guys know us moms, us women, we don't have the time. We just want to throw on a little look, a little something, something. So I think this palette is perfect for that. The next one we have, which I'm probably going to say wrong. As you guys know, I'm half Puerto Rican, but I do not speak Spanish. Sadly, I tried to learn in high school and I just never picked up on it. But this is the Antes Muerte Que Sencilla palette. Again, I'm probably saying that wrong, so I am completely sorry. This is what it looks like. Good palette for nudes. You have some nice colors in here. And I believe most of these palettes also are complete. Again, not all of them have glitters, but most of them are matte and shimmer shades. And now for the final palette. This is the one that I've been super, 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 super excited for because I've had colors like this, but not this bright. I mean, guys, when I say these joints are beautiful, you just, just, just look. So this is uh, the front of the palette, and this palette is the Beat by Brazida Bat and Baddest Takeover palette. So this was a collab palette. Cruelty free, guys. Cruelty free. I mean, just, just look at them. This blue right here and this yellow is what really caught me. Like, absolutely stunning. I absolutely love these palettes. I just want to thank you guys again for making me the winner of these giveaways because these are such awesome giveaways. These are such awesome products that I can't wait to try. I'm going to be doing some amazing looks with these palettes on my Instagram. Like this video. Subscribe, please, if you haven't. Leave a comment. Let me know what was your favorite product in this whole unboxing and if you didn't have a favorite product then let me know what was your favorite palette because i know girls you gotta love a good palette and that is the end of this video so i hope you really enjoyed it i hope you loved it as much as i did i hope you were excited for all the products just like i was and we'll be back again next thursday with another video another makeup palette we're gonna be swatching it's not any of these so stay tuned one last thing, don't forget to shout your girl out and share the video. As always, guys, stay beautifully awesome, and I'll be back next week with that video. Bye, guys. Love you all.